starts now. Welcome to Newswatch 12 at 10. I'm Justin Benny. It was roughly this same time last year when many folks got their first glimpse inside the brand new Hodag Dome in Rhinelander. Today, another Northwoods landmark held its grand opening. It's being billed as the largest building project in Forest County history. Newswatch 12's Morgan Johnson gives us a look. All right, ready? Desiree Martin is the fitness and wellness manager at the new Forest County Pottawatomie Community Center. It was a busy day for her and other staff, giving tours to prospective members or just curious visitors. Martin used to work at a corporate fitness center in Minneapolis, but her roots in the Northwoods brought her back. This is fun. All of it's fun. I love my job. I'm now standing in the largest construction project ever in Forest County. There's a field house, pool, water slide, gymnasium, and that's just getting started. The state-of-the-art fitness center has everything one could need. Customizable, personalized equipment, group and individual training, boxing, yoga, self-defense, the list goes on. The $60 million project began in May of 2019 and was completed this August. Along with the fitness center, what's now available to the general public is something Forest County Potawatomi Chairman Ned Daniels didn't even imagine possible. And I want to make a way for our people to live and for our kids to have fun and get educated and go on with life the way they were supposed to. When the ideas were up in the air, Daniels wanted to include everybody in the decision-making process. The Tribal Council went door-to-door, -door, held public hearings, and simply asked around what people wanted in their facility. It means a lot. Um, I got a little six-year-old son. And to him, it means fun, 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 you know. But to uh, somebody like myself, hearing the plannings for the last 60 years, um, hearing every generation say we need this, we need that. Now that their wishes are granted, the possibilities are endless. Martin and Chairman Daniels hope this can be the place where people can be better. Reporting for Newswatch 12 in Crandon, I'm Morgan Johnson. A fourth Wisconsin voter out of the roughly three million who cast ballots the fall 2020 election has now been charged with election fraud. The criminal complaint does not identify whether the person charged is a Democrat or a Republican or who he voted for in the presidential election. Fond du Lac District Attorney Eric Tony says the integrity of our electoral process must be protected at every turn. Governor Evers has ordered the U.S. and state flag in Wisconsin to be lowered to half-staff tomorrow in honor of Navy Fireman First Class Kenneth Dornenberg. Dornenberg is from Anago. He was killed in the attack on Pearl Harbor 80 years ago. He was finally accounted for this March. It took that long. Dornenberg will be laid to rest with full military honors at Elmwood Cemetery in Anago tomorrow. After rising for practically two straight months, the seven-day average the number of new COVID-19 cases in Wisconsin has now fallen for three straight days. Today, the State Department of Health Services reports roughly 2,800 new cases, dropping our daily average the last week to 2,746. DHS also reports 16 new deaths today. We're averaging about 11 per day over the last week. Sales of existing homes in Wisconsin is outpacing even last year's record. The latest report from the Wisconsin Realtors Association shows over 56,000 homes were sold just between January and August. That's an increase of 2.7% from the same period in 2020. Marquette University economist David Clark says the lack of supply has actually kept the number of sales down. It could be even higher, but has also pushed home prices up 6.4% in August, with the number of homes still declining on the market. Clark said sellers are finding buyers very quickly as well. The Northwoods is known for its relaxing pace of life, but folks in one Rhinelander neighborhood say people are going way too fast down one popular road. Newswatch 12's Kyle Pazorski takes a look at what's happening on Timber Drive. People need to be aware that while this may not look like a residential street, it is, and they need to slow down. Marshall Colossa is a resident of Rhinelander's Timber Drive, a popular road that leads to city schools, work, and homes. I've lived here about nine years, um, and although traffic hasn't changed at all over that time, it's just becoming more and more of a concern. Colossa says that on her daily walks down Timber, she regularly sees drivers who go more than 10 miles over the set 25-mile-per-hour speed limit. 
She says it's a problem for everyone who lives on the stretch of timber from Stevens Street to Highway 17. I can't see that anybody here wouldn't be affected by that because everybody on this road either tries to pull out of their driveway or walks to walk their dogs or take a walk or uh, what have you, especially on a, on a nice day. Colossa, along with other residents on timber, believe part of the problem is a lack of enforcement. Rylander police say that while speeding is a priority, Chief Lloyd Gothier does not have the patrol staff to enforce 24-7. It's about compliance. I would love to do that. Sometimes we just don't have the staff to do that, that can dedicate a person over there for a t that time period. Chief Gothier and Colossa agree that a general lack of respect has led to the consistent speeding problem. Look at our society right now. Read social media. There's a lack of respect for everything. And when it comes to a speed limit law, that's there, it's posted, and it's only as good as people are willing to listen to it and abide by it. While many recognize that drivers on Timber Drive go over the limit, other streets in Rhinelander, like Stevens and Lincoln, see the same issue in residential neighborhoods. One thing most can agree on, though, is that drivers need to be more cognitive of the speed limit. In Rhinelander, Kyle Pazorski, Newswatch 12. Several Newswatch 12 viewers called in or wrote this week in regards to one story in particular. Let's hear some of what they had to say in tonight's My Two Cents. To listen to your messages, press L. I'm thoroughly disgusted with the deal you had on about cross-dressers. That's sickening. That kind of stuff shouldn't be shown to our kids and things like that. Whatever people do in the quiet of their own home is their business, but don't put it on the air like that. That was disgusting, and it made me not want to watch your news program. I'm just going to watch for the weather, and that's it. Yeah. Enough of that. And I want to comment on Georgina Fernandez's report about the drag show in Rhinelander. I found it very interesting, and I would like to attend future such events. So some mixed thoughts. Uh, the story was definitely out of the ordinary for the Northwoods, which is what makes it newsworthy. We're trying to highlight people, groups, and organizations that we think viewers will find interesting, whether that's a drag show, the bear taxidermy story we did this week, the school prayer story we did this week. Chances are, whatever your beliefs, you're going to find some of the groups on TV that you like and some that you disagree with. I think it's good to experience cultures and beliefs outside of your own comfort zone, but if you would rather not do that, there are plenty of options on cable news and internet where you can find outlets that cater specifically to your beliefs. Just not here. If you want to make your voice heard on your two cents, give us a call at 715-365-8812, extension 319. Again, 715-365-8812, extension 319. And thank you for calling. It was a rainy night for some high school football, but that didn't stop us from having some great games, including the annual bell game between Rhinelander and Anago. We'll have highlights in just a little bit. But first, Jeff's in with your full weekend forecast next on Newswatch 12 at 10. Fall weather is right around the corner, and Menards has what you need to prepare your lawn. Applying fall lawn food to your yard will help prepare it for winter dormancy and will ensure a healthy lawn in the spring. This 17-pound bag of Menards premium lawn food covers up to 5,000 square feet. Save 11% on all Menards premium lawn food. Get 11% off everything right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Lance Truck, Lance Truck, we got the trucks at Lance Truck. Nobody has more used trucks all on one lot, all price to move. So when you're ready to buy your next truck, know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, and can be bought hassle-free online. Go now to LensTruck.com. You'll find over 800 used trucks, all price to move. We got the trucks at Lance Truck. When it comes to internet and TV, Spectrum has the competition beat. Really? Can you keep up with all this? Yes. With faster download speeds and better performance, Spectrum is the number one choice for gamers. Switch now with the fastest internet starting speeds for the price, 200 megabits. That's enough speed to game, surf, stream, and more on all your devices. Get Spectrum Internet for $44.99 a month. Call 833-742-4499. Okay, but what about TV? 
It's not easy to find something that works for everyone. Spectrum TV with the free Spectrum TV app lets you watch live sports, local news, and more on your TV and on your devices. And unlike satellite, there's no ugly dish on your roof. Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-742-4499. Too bad I'm in a contract. Stuck in a contract? Spectrum will buy it out up to $500. Seriously? And you won't have to sign a new one. Don't wait. Switch today. Awesome. Nice. Yes! Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-742-4499. showers have ended. Duluth, uh, Minneapolis, and Eau Claire have gone into clear air mode. That means no more rain tonight for us. This is all kind of pulling out of here, and we may enter a long dry stretch now of six or seven days around here. Are you ready for that? Here's the big system pulling out of here right now under parts of Michigan. They can have it behind it. Clear skies are building in for a couple hours tonight. Uh, we'll get some more clouds across the area though tomorrow, and there is just nothing off to the west. High pressure is building in a strong high pressure for September. That's going to give us some really nice weather beginning really tomorrow, uh, but more so early parts of next week. Okay, so here it is now. The low is pulling away and this high pressure is building in. That high pressure is your friend. It's sinking air, good weather, and it's not going to go anywhere anytime quickly. In fact, once it gets over to our neck of the woods on Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll get on the back side of that high and that's where we're going to kick up the temperatures uh, midweek. Next week, we could have some high temperatures back up into the mid 70s. Are you ready for that? But tomorrow, oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the one kind of caveat here, right? Uh, lots of clouds around tomorrow through the afternoon. Here's about 3 o'clock or so with a stiff kind of north breeze in there as well. With temperatures reaching for 60, we'll probably stop just short of there. So tomorrow will be the cool kid in town, but followed by lots of sunshine Sunday to Monday. After we did this today, 73 in Rhinelander, you can see exactly where the front was, right? Uh, start of the day right across here, moved this way throughout the day. That is an 80 in Wapaka earlier today today with a strong south wind, but the front has gone through. Temperatures are hanging out in the 40s out there right now. It was cold on the bleachers, wasn't it? Watching those games tonight. 42 in Tomahawk, 44 for Merrill. We'll have lows tonight down near 40, a couple upper 30s in there as well, especially if we get some clear skies in there after midnight tonight. Uh, but here's the trend. So are you ready here? 58 tomorrow again. Tomorrow's a cool kid. 68 though for Sunday. And then those are 70s and even some mid to upper 70s Tuesday until Wednesday of next week and the long range trend for later parts of the next weekend keeps us firmly in the 70s. So we have a long kind of dry stretch unfolding with much warmer temperatures on the way as well. Our forecast then for tonight though, the rain has ended a bit chilly tonight. Low temperatures down near 39 with a west breeze around 10 miles per hour by tomorrow morning. For tomorrow, it's Saturday, so we could see some clear skies early tomorrow. Otherwise turning mostly cloudy, a bit breezy as well with a west wind around 10 to 20. It could gust near 25 through the afternoon. If you're going to Beefarama tomorrow, dress for that with most likely daytime temperatures in the 50s. And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by Northwich Furniture and Mattress shows tomorrow 58, mostly cloudy, but then sunny on Sunday with a high of 68. And then those are 70s Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with plenty of sunshine. We'll be right back after this. Northwoods Furniture and Mattress. Let us help make your home your own with furniture and mattresses you love. Home furnishings from Lazy Boy, Flex Steel, Smith Brothers, and more. The area's largest selection of quality Amish built furniture with many styles and custom options. Find top brand mattresses in stock, including Sealy, Serta, Stearns and & Foster, and Tempur-Pedic. Need furniture now? We sell our floor models with new arrivals weekly. Stop in our two locations in Eagle River with exceptional selection, service, and savings. Northwoods Furniture and Mattress. A nursing home promises to care for our parents as cherished loved ones. But if your parents have been injured in a nursing home, we can help. Habish, Habish, and Rotier. We fight for what's right. One, two, three, go! With a Honda in your garage, every summer adventure leads to another. Get an incredible summer offer on a new Honda, only at the Honda Summer Sales Event.
Ready, set, go. For Ed B., who can spot exactly 57 types of trees thanks to his Medicare allowance for new glasses, we've got you. For Jackie R., who's added umpteen flower pots now that her allergy meds are covered, we've got you. For Michelle K., who likes celebrating life's big moments, like finding affordable premiums and, more importantly, finishing chemo, we've got you. For everything that happens to happen, we've got you. Aspirus Health Plan. If you're a contractor or do-it-yourselfer, make Argonne Lumber your first stop. High-quality materials, personalized service, expert staff, and delivery are just some of the things Argonne Lumber is known for. Stop in and smell the lumber at Argonne Lumber, two locations in Argonne and Rhinelander. This portion of Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Stone Innovations, Rhinelander, and Plover. Governor Tony Evers has proclaimed tomorrow as Bob Euchre Day here in Wisconsin. The day celebrates his 50th anniversary as the voice of the Brewers. Brewers President of Business Operations Rick Schlesinger said, quote, Bob is more than an icon in the state of Wisconsin. He is one of the world's great entertainers and personalities. The Packers are offering fans the chance to win tickets to their home game against the Vikings this year by submitting photos and voting in the annual Packers Fan Choice Awards. Fans can enter photos either of themselves or of fellow fans in six different categories, including proudest Packer kid and cutest Packers pet. The nomination period is open now. It's open until October 14th. Finalists will be announced October 20th. The winners will be announced on November 16th. For more information, you can go to PackersEverywhere.com. We'll be back with the Friday Night Blitz after the break. But first, Newswatch 12's Chris Baranek is this week's Big Old Fish. Newswatch 12's Big Old Fish is brought to you by Kurtz Island Sports Shop in Minocqua. You're going to need a bigger boat. Okay, why do fish swim in schools? Well, obviously, it's because they can't walk. Thanks for sticking with me through another season of Big Old Fish and these horrible jokes. We've made it through another season. And I'd like to thank our sponsors, Kurtz Island Sports Shop in Minocqua and obviously Norling Taxidermy for the uh, fish mount. But without further ado, I would like to go on and announce our winner for this season's Big Old Fish... This season's winner is Kim Zerby from Tomahawk. Now, Kim caught this beautiful largemouth bass on Lake Nokomis, and it measured in at 23 inches and weighed 7.12 pounds. That's her biggest largemouth that she's ever caught. And, well, I think it goes without saying, it qualifies. That's a big old fish. Way to go, Kim, and congratulations on winning the contest. I just wanted to take a second to thank you all for submitting your pictures and stories of catching your big old fish. That's one of my favorite parts about doing it. Until next season, keep your hooks sharp and keep on reeling them in. All right, fishermen and women, make sure to keep those trophy pictures coming. All the information you need to be in a future episode of Big Old Fish and winning Northern Taxidermy Fish Mount is on our website, wjfw.com. And remember, anglers, fish on. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Builder Service Incorporated, Elko. Straight from the source, Lake Nokomis Cranberries in Eagle River features award-winning cranberry wines. Visit the gift shop for a wine tasting and browse the large assortment of cranberry-themed products. Marsh tours are offered summer through fall. Visit the website for details. The Kitchen Remodel Project was a major project. After checking around, we went to Featherstone, and we were so glad we did. There was electrical work, plumbing, enlarging a doorway, and of course, all the cabinets, countertops, and fixtures. The minute I walked in the door at Featherstone, I knew I was in the right place. Featherstone coordinated every aspect of the project, the whole thing, they made it easy. And I can't say enough about how much we appreciated the personal attention Featherstone gave us. Our wonderful therapy department, our nursing staff that goes above and beyond, we want to make sure that you're comfortable and feel like you're almost at home. We're going to take care of you the best way we can. Rennes Health and Rehab Center, your home. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape, so we can help everyone stay connected for less. And less also means more, as in more choice. While the other guys may limit your options, at U.S. Cellular, you choose any phone and we make it free. 
That's right, visit our store and any phone you see is free. Plus, get unlimited data for $30 a month and get the most out of our state-of-the-art network, wherever you choose to go. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. It's Chevy Truck Month, and it's time to add the perfect accessories to your new Chevy. Make it bolder. Make it work harder. Make it your own. Find new possibilities. Find new roads. Get great offers from GM Financial and 1750 cash allowance on Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance towards the purchase of eligible accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Sweetwater Spirits and Resort is open throughout the year. Dine in with a great view of Duck Lake. Carryout is also available. Enjoy broasted chicken, shrimp, burgers, pizza, Friday night fish fry, and Saturday night prime rib. Great happy hour deals Monday through Friday from 3 to 6 and live music on the weekends. Sweetwater Spirits and Resort is family friendly and opens at 11 a.m. daily. Find us on Facebook to view nightly specials.